hey creative you welcome to this training um the course in here and in this tutorial we are go i'm going to take you through how to design a very beautiful time goddess friday flyer time goddess friday flyer right so i hope you have downloaded your puzzle app right so we are going to design with our smartphone in puzzle app and the flyer we are going to design is here here is the flyer that we are going to design so i know most of you are new to designing so you might be thinking how possible can we design this i want you to believe in yourself that's the first step believe in yourself that you can do it and follow the tutorial to end follow attentively and make sure you do exactly what i do in this particular tutorial right so you don't have anything to worry just follow attentively so here's the design we are going to start afresh so Follow me and let's start with the design great so now let me tap here let me tap here to get rid of the design so that we can all start afresh so when you open your page lab, this is what you're going to see normally this is what you're going to see in your page lab. you're going to see this default test here so right i will leave the default test just come to this a plus this um sign here that's where the alphabet where you work with your test where you can work late copy and to, uh, work with test right so when you come to the alphabet or the test tool just tap on delete then delete it right so delete it now let's come to test come to your test and let's first start with our writings we are going to write friday we are going to write friday so come to edit and then write friday write friday like this very beautiful very simple then bring it here when you bring it here tap on this circle this circle here um this circle here right that circle tap on it when you tap on it just tap and hold and then drag it like this if you can't do that don't worry yourself come to size if you can't tap them just come to size it's very simple come to size here yes, size you see size here just tap on size and increase the size to somewhere 304 use this slider here to increase the size to somewhere 300 and 314 so i have i will increase the size like this 314 right good for me like this so once i increase the size i'll come to my font come to your font right you see font here come to the come there and then you come to your fonts here you have your font there are many fonts that you can choose for your writers but the font you are using in this particular design is called ugalu ugalu regular so here's the font once you come here see here here's the font right once you come to your fonts here is it here is it let me show you ugalu regular that's the font there ugalu regular so you tap on your font like this right you we have chosen our font let's tap on ok so here is our font here is our font we are going to then you come to your curve you see curve here you see curve here let's tap on curve we are going to curve our right our test a bit so you use this slider here to curve it so you move it to 10 if you can't move it to 10 use this one here this plus sign here just tap on a 2 and it will move to bend in 10 you see let me tap and show you so you see bending bending 10 you see bending 10 right 10 percent so that's great then we have it here just tap on the check mark like this and then position this here then we will come to the last thing we are doing with our test that's the shadow that's the shadow right so i want you to follow attentively everything is easy and simple just follow and practice you can watch this tutorial more than twice to get and understand the concepts and everything that i did in this tutorial so when you come to your shadow just enable it you tap on enable and then you come to opacity here's the, the first thing you will see here is opacity you see opacity so when you come to opacity let's make the shadow let's leave the opacity first right so let's leave the opacity first and let's make the blur radius 21 let's make the blur radius blur radius to be 20 right and make the offsets offset of x you see offset of x offset of x should be 
minus 21 so you, you, you use the minus sign here you use this minus and plus you use the minus sign and make it 21 so you take your tie make it 21 good so you get your um, offset of x 21 offset of y minus 3 use the minus 1 2 3 minus 3 very great so now we have our shadow here like this we have a shadow here but the shadow is too much we don't want it to be too much so once we do is we tap on the plus sign here right tap on the plus sign here once you tap on the plus sign here move this test slider this slider move this test slider this slider here right move it to the middle to here to the middle here right and then tap on ok so we have our shadow we have reduced the um the color the darkness of the shadow now we have a shadow here you position one of the tests here come here come to relative position and then position it in the center right you position the centralize the stuff here position the center once it is position the center let's copy it so we come to copy copy it bring one here good and then let's um come to relative position again where is relative position come to relative position again and center this one to let's copy another one and bring this one here you can move this one move this one here center move this one close come to position center that one too move this one here center so when you are designing take your time center this one too great so we have our writings here very nice so you just come here and then we lock all of them when you tap on this layer this thing here when you come tap on this part of here lock all of them tap back to the layer and then we have it here like this beautiful so we are going to come to our writing come to your test here come to write and test you see test here just tap to test and then edit tap on edit we are going to write thank god in capital caps thank God is this tap right thank God is and bring it here. So once you bring it here, we come to our font. Come to your font and then the font we are going to choose the same font that we use, the Bugalo regular. Choose this same font, Bugalo regular, right? And bring it here. So once you bring it here, you just come to your size and let's see the size of it. You come to your size. Size should be somewhere. 56 size should be somewhere 56 right 56 you use the minus 2 to subtract and make it 56 you get your 56 here tap on ok so now we are going to increase the spacing of it you come to spacing come to spacing and increase the spacing of it don't not too much somewhere 10 is ok spacing of 10 is ok now you will come to um the curve let's curve this one to come to the curve to Here's the curve, tap on curve, make it 10, tap um, on the plus sign 2, make it 10, and then position it here. Great, 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 great. Position it somewhere here. You can come to relative position again, and then make it in the center, centralize it. Great. So we have it here. You can lock that one too. You can lock that one too. So now we are coming to bring our image. Come to bring our image, tap here. Anytime you want to bring image, tap here, this middle to here up there and come to import so the image will be given to you in your in your gallery right to so be given to you in your gallery so you try and use it i'll give it to you i'll be giving to you assess it and then use it so the image that we are going to use here is it right you tap on it like this and don't touch anywhere just tap on the check mark here and then bring it here right let's come and see the image the image of it let's come to size and let's see the size come to relative size and let's see the size of it the size will be 92 right 92 so you just increase it once you increase the weight the height will be increasing too so the size should be 92 92 like this great so you position it here you can position it in the center right centralize it bring it somewhere here great 
let's copy it copy the image let's copy the image let's copy so we have the image to be two the, let's make the copied one to be in a, a color form so let's enable the color and come to here you come to here the color and choose this yellow color for it this bright yellow color choose that one for it and then tap the check mark so you make sure that the image is centralized make, make this one centralized and bring it down you can come to position and move it down right let it be down like this let it cover the main image like this and then send it to back come to back and send it to back you can tap here the layer button and then here's the image right tap here this lines here this lines here all right this lines here let's tap there and then hold tap and hold you see something like this and then bring it back to this image bring it and release it like this so it has been back of the image so what you are going to do is just come to position don't tap anything just come to position and bring move it here like this move once up come to uh, position right come to position and move it once move this like that once like this right move it once just like this good we have this very nice so we can go ahead and lock these images so we are all, almost done so what we are going to do is we will come to um shapes let's come to shapes so once we come to shapes we have the shape here let's make the radius four right let's make the radius four so the radius should be four see radius let's make what only the radius four and the opacity of weight should be you see opacity let's make the opacity 79 79 great so then tap on it like this let's increase the size so you see how i have take my time explaining things and designing that's what you should do always take your time don't rush take your time if you have to watch the tutorial on the second time and the third time do it before before you start your design right so we have it here we have this shape here so you bring the shape here i forgot to choose color for it but you can come to color here's color you see color right let's choose color for it the color should be red like this but this red is too much this red i think is too much you can choose this red color i think this okay this red color is okay let's bring it here so you position it here like this you can come to relative position and centralize it right once you are done let's come to our test let's come to our test right the a there tap on the a and tap on test let's write something so this is just a motivational this writing and you can write anything that is about thank god it's friday so i have something like here so i'll paste it here right this is here the true happiness involves the use of one's power and talents so that's the writing i have here so i'll come to size let me select it and come to size reduce the size of it let it let it be small bring it here you can reduce the size of it again to somewhere 30 or 29 is okay once you bring it here come to um come to align and make it center alignment or you can move it here like this so you see how i have made it let it be two lines so take your time reduce the size position it well in there in the shape there and then come to relative position and then position it it in the center right beautiful so we are done let me check the main let me check the main design and let's see right okay 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 we are almost we are almost done guys so the, what we are going to bring is we will come to our image you come here the middle tool here and come to import once you come to import let's bring this particular image all right so let's bring this particular image this love image it will be given to you so you we are going to bring it here let's crop around it like this tap here and then reduce the size once you do the size position it here one here right do the size a bit position one here great once you position one there you can reduce the opacity of it i think the brightness is too much so opacity to somewhere system six eight you can copy the other one you can copy it and make a duplicate bring one here too one somewhere here i think it's okay 
Change this. Okay, so we are done. So we are going to change the background of it. The background of it doesn't go well with the design. So this is what we are going to do. Anytime we want to change background, come to this fourth tool here. This particular tool. Come to it. Um, this tool here. You see, right? That's it. So come to that tool, and when you come to tool, you see color. You see color. If you change, you want to give a color to the background. Just tap on the color. So we are going to first try with the color. Let me show you how the color looks. So when you come to color, here are colors. You can use any color for your background. But make sure that the color you are using go well with the design. This one is not bad. You can use any color for your design, right? This one is not bad. Beautiful, beautiful. So you see, I'm using this very bad. You can use this one very beautiful so the one that will go well with your design use it I, want, I don't want you guys to do one thing just try your hands on many things see the ones that work with you and use it so we have many backgrounds here beautiful ones you can use any of these this one is also good right so the color that i'm going to choose you is gradient so tap on gradient see gradient tap on gradient so this is the gradient color i'm going to show you this is the gradient color i want you to use right so this is how I got the gradient color. I chose this particular gradient color. You see this gradient color, right? This is the gradient color. Tap on it. This is the gradient color. So once you tap on it, the outer color is dull. So you tap on the plus sign here. Once you tap on the plus sign here, you tap here. Tap here. Tap here, right? That slider. Tap, tap on it like this. Once you tap, it will be selected. And tap on color. Once you tap on color, you bring this pointer you see the pointer here you move it right this pointer you move it to the orange part move it to the orange part take your time move it to the orange part somewhere like this and then move the second slider to the end here move the second slider to this end you can move this one also towards here a bit right and then we tap on ok so we have our gradient color beautiful tap on ok we have our gradient color you can use this gradient color for your design that one will, will go well with the design or you can make it darker a bit so we see it go well with the design but i'm going to show you another image background that you can use you can use this color or you try your hands on this image background so come to image see image here facebook has given you a default image background that you can use so here's the here are many backgrounds but these ones will not go well don't try this it will not go well with your design don't try this especially this one don't try them it will not go well this one is cool a bit but it will not fit the design well so these are default backgrounds i don't normally use them but i'm trying how how use the this background for the first time here so this is the background this particular one this particular one you can try it for this design it goes well with it very beautiful so try it for it and then get your design very beautiful very beautiful don't touch anywhere just go ahead and save your design you can try the first gradient background or try this one the one that works for you that looks more beautiful for you then you save your design and submit it as your assignment right so let's go ahead and tap on this save button here and let's save you can first save as project for it to be saved on your Prislav app so anytime you want to make changes with it you come to your project and make changes for this but this one we want it to save it in our in our gallery so you would choose save as image so you tap on save as image and you tap here this dimension you see this arrow here in the front of the dimension we don't want it to be default so tap on the arrow here and choose ultra choose ultra see ultra here choose ultra let's tap on ultra and then save to gallery Save to gallery once you choose ultra save to gallery and your design will be saved to your gallery right? so here is the design that's how i did it and you can also follow attentively and then design something beautiful take your time design something beautiful and submit it as your assignment so if you like this tutorial i will want you to like this video comment and subscribe to get more content like this here thank you for following practice Submit your assignment. Hooray!